Hello, Blaze of Battle 3DR members. We have four more buildings to talk about. The Inn, the Blacksmith, the Hospital, and the Magic Guild. We're going to talk about the Inn first, and then we're going to talk about the Hospital, and save the last two for last, since they will be the longest. Okay, so here is our Inn. Our Inn um, information screen tells us that depending on your level, the transport speed. So whenever you send your alliance members anything, um, our N tells us how fast we can get those items to our alliance members. Okay, so that's basically all the N is for. And if you look at transport speed, um, it just tells you your current bonus. So it tells you your current bonus as far as um, whatever your building gives you along with your research and your dragon skills and your lord skills okay all right next so I need hints we're going to talk about our hospital our hospital I don't think I have a level nine one so I'll click on the level eight our hospital um, information tells you that depending on your level the capacity that one hospital will give you. So this one level A hospital can hold 6,500 troops. So for me, I have eight hospitals. And if you click on the heal button for the hospital, you will see that with my eight hospitals, I can heal 45,000 troops. So if your building is attacked, um, 45,000 of your troops will go into the hospital and the rest of them will be um, destroyed if you are zeroed. So that's what the hospital is for and why it is important to make sure that that matches your CC level. Now we're going to go to our blacksmith. Our blacksmith is where we forge items for our dragon. Here it is right here. And with the information screen, oops, we see that our level 8 um, blacksmith can forge at 24% um, fast. It takes out 24% on the original time it will take for your item to be forged. So that's why it's important to have that building upgraded to the highest level. And also, when you go inside of the blacksmith, there's lots to learn there. So first thing I want to point out is... Um, combining so if you hit combine you'll see this is where all your materials are and as you scroll through your materials some of your materials will have a little yellow arrow and just like everything else in the game with a little yellow arrow that means it needs to be upgraded or in this case combined okay so you always want to make sure that all of your items are combined to the highest level so there's levels one through six and um, six will have the best quality item and one will have the least amount of quality in your item you also need to do the same thing for your crystals so um, when you see your crystals go ahead and combine them especially um, before you place them inside of your forged items and I would suggest also to make sure that your materials is combined before you even start to look to um, what you're going to forge because of this so when you go to your scroll store and you just click on any random item then you will see um, what the different colors mean. So common is um, level one, and that's what you will get if you get it common. Um, white is uncommon, green is fine, um, blue is special, purple is rare, and gold is epic. So it's important to combine your materials before looking so that when it tells you that what what your chances are for getting the item to have a certain amount of quality it will be accurate so i also wanted to show you of course you can look through the um 
monster series and a basic series, but I thought I would show everyone how if you to filter. So if you hit the blue filter button, you can customize what it is that you are looking for for your dragon to forge. So for example, say you want to look at production and gathering, which is something that I would look at. You hit the filter button and then it gives you all of the items that you could um, use for that. And as you can see with each one, it has what you want in there. Like this um, level 21 boot has food production in it. So does this boot, food production, food production. So it's giving you exactly what you want as far as... Um, what it is that you've asked for for the filter instead of having to go through each monster or each series one at a time okay also I wanted to show you when you click on my scrolls this shows the items that you've already purchased but have not forged yet so even here you can check to see um, Right now, it says that if I forge this item, it's going to be an uncommon item. It's 100%. So that means that if I wanted it to be epic, then I would have to make sure that I go through and see what the um, ingredients are, which is prayer beads, amber, and measuring scale. And then I would have to hit my um, hit musters with my dragon and up my beads amber and measuring scale so that i have enough to make each one of those level six and then i'll be able to get an epic um helmet if that makes sense so if you hit inventory you will see that i have one little <laughs> thing that i forged from um for my dragon and it's going to going to reduce my research time by six minutes I do recommend that if you can to get use the um, percentages if not the minutes I just forged that one item really quickly so you guys will be able to see it for the video but it would make more sense to do a um, research percent item so if you go to research then you'll see how all of these items have percent for research speed, percent 4.8, research um, speed 1.5. And so then you'll just go through and see whichever one you want as far as does it have the highest percent or whatever it is that you want. Because if you do minutes, you're just going to get the certain amount of minutes off instead of a full percentage of the whole. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention is here you can view all your materials and that way you can say okay I need five more um, I meant to mention this before for each of these for example let's look at um, the Minotaur ear I'll have one of those at level two you just need four of them to combine them to bring them to the next level so if I get four of those right now I have one if I get four of those, I can combine those four level twos into a level three. So that's why it's important to combine. All right. And the same thing with your crystals. You can see your crystals the same way. So that's enough about the blacksmith. Last thing to talk about is the match guild. And we'll do that in a separate video to prevent the videos from being too long. All right, then. Thank you, guys. We are 3DR.